One problem in one PDB may halt the entire upgrade. The job can't complete. So you can just revert and then start again. Now with the PDB isolation automatically implemented with the proactive fix-ups, one issue in one single PDB doesn't stop the entire job, the upgrade job of all the others still completes, and then you can sort out and fix what has gone wrong here. The restore point right now protects the CDB on CDB level only. So the restore point auto upgrade created, you remember the green flow chart, it protects the entire CDB. So when we go back to the restore point, it rolls back everything. In addition, if you want your PDBs to be available once they are done, by default, this does not happen. So when you look at the flow chart here, you see CDP dollar root always gets upgraded first and then my PDBs, and they have finished at different times during the proactive fix-ups. But by default, the entire environment is just available once the last PDB has been upgraded. Now we introduce a new parameter in auto upgrade. It's called make underscore PDBs underscore available. And the default is false. But if you would like to have PDB 1, 2, 3, and 4 be available as soon as they are upgraded, we can change that. Make PDBs available true. And this means now PDB 1 is available, PDB 2 is available, PDB 3 is available, and PDB 4 is available as well as soon as it was upgraded. So that can be quite helpful as well.